Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing about question and answers of Chomsky normal form. In the last slides, we discussed about the rules related to Chomsky normal form. That is how we can convert a grammar from context-free grammar to Chomsky normal form. We will be dealing first with simple questions and then we will move towards the complex questions. First question says, remove the unit production from the following grammar. If we see this grammar, we have two unit productions. One is S tends to S, another is B tends to A. So first we will remove S tends to S, which is a self unit production. When we remove this unit production from S, the grammar which we have is one which has S removed from right second unit production, that is B tends to A. We will just replace this A with all the productions of right side on A. And the final output which we will get for B is B tends to capital S, B capital S or small a capital A, small s or A or A S or B B. So we have replaced this capital A with all the productions of A on right side. Original productions remain as it is. So this is the final output which we generate. Next question says remove the unit production from the grammar given below. Now we have four unit productions. First is S tends to A, second is A tends to B, third is B tends to A and fourth is B tends to C. If we start off with the initial grammar, first we will remove B tends to C. We remove this unit production from B and the output which we get is that corresponding to B tends to C, we write B tends to A or A. Now next is, next unit production which we will remove is B tends to A. Now when we remove this unit production, we get B tends to A or capital B. This is a self unit production of B tends to B. So we will remove this directly. Next we move to third unit production removal that is A tends to B. We remove this unit production from A and we get A tends to small. A. Fourth unit production, the last one which is left out that is S tends to A, we will remove this. And ultimately the output which we get is S tends to A, A tends to A, B tends to A and C tends to. Next we come to epsilon production removal. If we see this grammar, we have only one epsilon production that is A tends to A. Now in order to remove this, we will just replace all the productions on right side which have capital A with a null. So when we remove this from first production that is S tends to A, S, B, the, out, the new production which we generate is S tends to S, B. Along with that, we will have A tends to AS and epsilon will be removed. But since we have a unit production B tends to A, we will have epsilon production in B. So we need to remove that production also. When we remove this production of B tends to epsilon, corresponding to this, we get AS or S because B has been removed from both the productions on right side of S. Epsilon has been removed from the production of B. S tends to S self unit production, this will be removed directly. Now we will remove epsilon production from both A as well as B. So what we get in this case is S tends to S again, that is a self unit, which will be removed directly. So this is the final output which we generate after removing epsilon. In the fourth question, we have only one epsilon production, that is S tends to epsilon. We will remove this epsilon production from S. Just see this output, how this has been achieved. This was the original production which will remain. Next comes A, A, S. We have removed first S in S tends to A, S, A, S. Then we remove second S in S tends to A, S, A, S. Then we remove both S from the production S tends to A, S, A, S. Next we move to S tends to B, S, B, S. First is the original one. Then comes the second one that is BSB after removing first S, after removing second S and after removing both. Since there was epsilon start symbol, epsilon will always remain. So this is the final output which we generate. Now comes removal of useless symbol. Four non-terminals corresponding to that we have productions on the right sides. Here start symbol is A. If we go into the rules of removing useless, product, uh, useless symbols, we have two rules. First is generating. And second is derivable. A will be included since A tends to X, Y, Z. So A dash will have A. A is generating. Then Z will be included since Z has Z tends to small z. This is generating. X and Y both are neither generating non-derivable. So they are useless symbols. So the grammar which is left out with us is A tends to X, Y and Z tends to Z. Z is useless since it is not reachable from A. So ultimately Z will be removed. 
and we get the only output as a tends to x y z. The useless symbols are x y and z. Next, we move to useless symbol removal from the grammar given. Here, c will be included c, since c tends to a is derivable. B will be included since B tends to C and C is part of A dash. So A dash is B C, it is generating. Likewise, A will be included since A tends to B and B tends to A, it will be included in A dash. And similarly, S will be included since S tends to A and A is part of A dash. Now, as far as unit production removal is concerned, we have already covered this in the previous question. So we will just look for useless variables. In this case, S tends to A is the only grammar which is generating something. So we will have A, B and C all three as useless symbols since they are not reachable from S and the final output will be S tends to A. Now we move to next question. In this we have to convert the grammar into Chomsky normal form. Before we convert into Chomsky, we need to check silent unit and useless. There's only one absolute production, A tends to A. So we will remove that. The output which we get corresponding to this in S will be S tends to B. And in A, we will have A tends to A. Epsilon will be removed from A. Now we will remove the duplicate from A since we have two A. Now we remove the unit production S tends to B. When we remove the unit production, we will just replace this capital B with the production on the right side. Now we will convert this grammar into Chomsky normal form. We have two new productions introduced. A1 tends to A, B1 tends to B. And the output which we get has two non-terminals or a single terminal corresponding to every non-terminal on left side. We come to next question. In this we have two epsilon productions. One is A tends to epsilon, another is B tends to epsilon. First we will remove A tends to epsilon. When we remove that we get S tends to capital B and A tends to small a. Duplicate will be removed. We remove the epsilon. We get epsilon in S when we remove the epsilon from B. Now, since the start symbol can have epsilon symbol, we need not remove it. We just remove duplicate P from the production of capital B. Now we remove the unit production of B from S. And the output which we get is S tends to AB or small b capital B or small b. Now we will remove the unit production of A from S. We will replace the right side of capital A with the production in S. And now we will convert this into Chomsky normal form. Again, we have introduced two new productions. A1 tends to small a, B1 tends to small b. And this is the final output which we generate. Here we can see that we have a production S tends to epsilon. Since S is a start state, we can always have epsilon in the start state. Next, we move to next question in which we have only one epsilon fraction. B tends to small b. We will remove that. Once we remove it, in the first, we have S tends to small a. But now, since we had A tends to capital B, epsilon is introduced in the production of A. Now we remove that epsilon and we get Corresponding to S, three new productions, AS, SA, and S. We remove the unit production, A tends to B from A. Before that, we will first remove the duplicate, S tends to S, a unit production. Then, after removing the unit production from A tends to B, we remove the unit production of A tends to S from A. Whatever was on right side of S has been replaced corresponding to A tends to S. And now we remove the start symbol from right side. This is again a condition which needs to be fulfilled. In order to remove start symbol from right side, we will augment the grammar S dash tends to S. Now since this is a unit production, we need to remove this. So we will remove this unit production by putting all the values corresponding to capital S in place of, in place of capital S for the production S dash tends to S. Now we convert this into Chomsky normal form and this is the final output which we achieve. Now we come to the last question. In this question, we have five non-terminals S, Q, R, A and V. We will first remove the useless productions from this grammar. A will be included since we have 
a tends to small a this is derivable b will be included since we have s tends to small b which is derivable then q will be included since it has q tends to epsilon if q is q tends to epsilon is generating now since we have capital a capital b in the generating symbol we will also include q in the generating set then we have r since we have r tends to epsilon then we have c left out since c is not generating anything it is a useless symbol so we will cancel out the production with c and s will be included because s tends to q r and q and r both are included in the initial set a dash so the final grammar which needs to be considered for conversion to chomsky normal form is given on the right side now as per this grammar we have two epsilon productions q tends to epsilon and r tends to epsilon first we will remove q tends to epsilon and we get one production s tends to r and another new production q tends to a b b epsilon has been removed from q now we move to second epsilon production removal that is r tends to epsilon we remove that and the output which we get is s tends to q corresponding to qr now since there is no production of r which is leading to any terminal or non terminal we will remove all the productions of r from the grammar when we remove all the productions of r from the grammar the output which we get is the one which has, which is on the right side now since this output has a unit production s tends to q we will remove that unit production by replacing all the productions on right side of capital q then we convert this into chomsky normal form so this is how we have converted this grammar into chomsky normal form and the final output which we get is given here over here we have two new productions a1 tends to aq and b1 tends to capital b capital so we have considered the examples of conversion of cfg to cnf and in the coming slides we will be discussing about push down automata the second important component of theory of computation thanks for watching